Hello, this video that I'm doing today is on a application that I newly discovered uh, called Google Wallet. And it just told us uh, set up Google Wallet. It asks us to enter a PIN. If it's your first time going in, it's going to ask you to set up a PIN. You're going to have to put a PIN in. Alright, now we are in to the Google Wallet. When Google Wallet comes up, it comes up with all of these wonderful things off to the left for you to discover. Um, but the main thing I want to show is the My Wallet feature. When you go to My Wallet, these are all of your options that you get um, for My Wallet. The ultimate thing about it is you have to set up um, Google Wallet to be able to tap and pay. And tap and pay is when you go into a store and they have a card reader that has one of those um, screens on it that you put your phone up to next to it and you can make a purchase the same way as if you swiped your card in the debit card machine. So I'm going to set up tap and pay. They ask you to agree to the terms. If you want to know what the terms are, you can hit this. And But I'm just going to accept. And you press next. And then you press done. And if you have ever used um, Google Play Store or anything um, related in Google with a debit card, they will take that debit card information and automatically put it in. So you see, I, I said I wanted to set it up. And they automatically put it in. I imagine that if you've never used Google Play, um, you've never purchased anything in the Google Play Store, um, then you would probably have to add a debit card. Um, the other thing that they have is they have a Google Wallet card. Um, so I guess if you go into a store and it doesn't have the tap and pay option, you can pull out your Google Wallet card and pay with that on a card reader so that's something that they also offer um, it's free um, when they asked me did I want to order it I said yes the only thing they asked me to do was verify my shipping information I did that and they said your order is complete now they're saying your wallet card is ordered your card should arrive in 10 to 12 days the other lovely little feature that I liked about this is the fact that it's more like a prepaid card um, you put money on it when the money's spent you don't use the card when you want to use it again you put money on it so I wanted to see what that looked like so um, here where you have the two dollars um, if you tap that you can actually you see here the bottom left it says add money and if you have a bank account set up you have the option to transfer your money to a bank um, right here with this white box is there was another white box underneath that that uh, allowed me to set up my bank account which I did so now I have the option to transfer um, I added money I just said two bucks I wanted to see it actually came up literally in like two minutes and um, then I got this wonderful text message two dollar purchase at Google Wallet top pop Google dot com so I get text messages from my bank account when money is uh, moved around. So when the $2 went onto the Google Wallet, it texts me. The other thing I am really interested to see, it'll be my first time, is sending money. So you have the ability to send money to someone if they have a Google email address. So I'm going to send money to my lovely wife. I'm going to send her a dollar. How are we going to split it in half? I got a dollar, she'll have a dollar. Okay, and it asks for a message. I am going to opt to type the message. And I like using emoticons. Some people don't. I do. And I'm going to, in this upper right corner, press send. And 
it gives me a invoice. It says there's no fees, so I press send money, and it says a dollar was sent. So now she has to go and tell us what that looked like. I believe it goes to the email. She said it's a dollar sign inside of the email, so I'm sure where that dollar sign is, when she signs back in, it will probably have money next to it, the same way this Google Wallet balance had a dollar sign and zeros beside it. And now it has a dollar sign and a one dollar beside it. Um, then if you look down here, it actually lists um, not only my transactions with Google Wallet, but even what I did at the Play Store. Remember I said if you bought anything at the Play Store, boom, that last thing is one of the things, one of the last uh, things I purchased at the Play Store as far as my apps are concerned. So this is Google Wallet. I haven't tried it in the store yet. Um, once I try it in the store, um, I'll probably add something to the description and let you know what that experience is like. But I've sent money. I've added money to my account. I've set up a bank account. And so far, so good. Okay, so I went into my wife's email, and she got an email from me or from Google Wallet saying she received a dollar from me. So we open up the email. And this is what the email message looks like. You received a dollar from Antoinette. Scroll down and it looks uh, similar to um, when I sent it to her. It says uh, a dollar Antoinette Lee sent you money. Claim your dollar. We read down further and it says Antoinette Lee sent you a dollar. Once you claim your money, you can transfer it to a bank account, send it on Play, which is the Play Store, or send it to anyone in the U.S. with an email address. This money will be returned to the sender on July 23rd, 2014. If you don't claim it, if you don't want this money, you can return it now. So we click the Return It Now option and it opened up a window. Um, the window when it opened up said, are you sure that you want to return this money to sender? You select yes, and this is the very next window that pops up. Your money was returned. Your money has been returned to sender. Okay, well, I have discovered a wonderful thing. Um, I now have a email message. This is my notification. It says, my dollar has been returned. Um, it says she returned your money. If I click that, it opens up the Google Wallet. And so the notification was for Google Wallet, not email. I don't know if I said email by accident, but um, so I got a Google Wallet notification. It says the money was returned at 8.03 p.m transfer from to and then it gives me a transaction ID number so this is Google Wallet in a nutshell I'm sure it has a lot more features to me that was just what was most important and I hope this video helps someone alright bye bye